Do you think that the big door is still open? I hope so. to clean up the whole island. We don't have to do it. That's the best part. desolate. You wouldn't know that they've been abandoned all these years. It might not have been that long. Huh? My mom said that she was still vice president when it all blew up. And I remember when she got that position. I was little, but I remember there was a party. Which means that this whole explosion thing happened afterward. Like 20 years ago at most. <sighs> That's weird. To think that we were alive at the time. That we were just chilling, watching cartoons, and meanwhile a whole planet was exploding. We weren't exactly old enough to do anything about it. Or even understand any of it. Right, that's true. But that puts things into some perspective. Shall we check if one is open? Let's go. Sorry. 
Should I open it or should you? What's that you picked up? This. Oh, he's cute! Isn't he? Can we keep him? Mm, I don't know, Kay. Who will take care of him? I will. You're saying that now, but you'll lose interest in two weeks. And after that, I'll be the one taking him on walks and picking up his poop. Oh no, I swear. And I'm sure he'll be tidy. Isn't that right, Snetty? You'll be so tidy. His name is Snetty? Hmm. Yes, I, I believe. That just came to me. Snetty's cute. All right, let's keep him. You hear that, Snitty? We're gonna find you a new home. Take a look. There isn't much space. Could you see yourself living in a place like this? What we're living in now is pretty close. Sure, but we're mobile. At least when the nest is working. Do you see anything interesting? No. Forget about it. I'm all be gone. that needed. You're safe. Not you go, girl. We found his weak spot. Let's make sure we remember. Oh, Blute. Now's not the time. Uh. Are you okay? This one's ready. I got this. You know what to do. I'm on. I'll keep them up. You! Oh. Are you alright? Not now. Oh, Bloot! He's right for the picking. Harvest time. My shield is in. One down. You! Easy now. Uh, I'm feeling dizzy. Ooh, that looks bad. Are you alright? Here! Thank you. Chill. Oh. Are you okay? Aha. Let's get it over with you, Block. I'll get uh. You! Eat it! I got you. Uh. You? Yep, saw that. Go, girl. Let's get it over. And done. You? Yep, saw that. He's right for one to go. You? Yep, saw that. 
That's how we rock. Saving those for later? Of course. FYI, I'm still running on empty. This is gonna feel real good in our batteries. Ready? Go, go, go! You like that? I got this! Bam! Booyah! I might just have a cure capsule. Don't give up! Ready when you are! All set! <sighs> oh, Bloot! Starting to look pretty tired! You're safe! Nice! It's right for the- Ooh. Are you alright? Watch out! That'll teach him. Dodge this one. Aha! Booyah! Target Watch out. Bam! Your turn. I got this. You! Next time you're blocking. Bam! You like that? Okay. That looks bad. Three, two, one. Now! Let's keep going. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's get... This one's ready. On it. Well done. Who's next?
Uh, Kay? Yeah? Look up there. That came down nearby. Maybe one fragment away tops. Do you think that was another hornet? We need to be careful until we know for sure. This is impossible. This can't be... Shielding! Perfect! Dodge this one! Oh, come on! Uh, cover me! Could always be useful. This one's a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, it was a reflex. Desperata, a bulbous plant from the Suppilaceous family. This flower has an incredible feature. It can flap its petals to send olfactory signals upwards and attract pollinators in the sky. I wasn't asking. But you can tell me what that is. Huh. That's a big one. A little large for a pollinator, but she doesn't look very aggressive. Why is she flying in place like this? She may be attracted by our smell, or by something that's in our pocket. Do you want an apple dew? <laughs> oh, okay. Nope, no apple dew. Uh, some rust? What are you doing? Why would she want some rust? Uh, this? Ah! She likes this. What was that? Leftover roasted apple dews. She didn't want apple dews, but roasted apple dews are good? Hmm. Such is the power of cooking. Uh. Anyway, she doesn't seem to have any issue traveling from one islet to the other. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. 
We need to fix up the nest. What? No! I thought we could ride on top of her so she could bring us to other islets. <laughs> huh? Oh, wait, you're serious. Well... Hold on, Kay. That is an absurdly terrible idea. Why is that? Ever heard of the law of attraction? Gravitational pull? Broken bones? Come on, you. I thought you loved flying. Yes, with seats and safety belts. Oh yeah, and cockpits, too. Plus, how do you expect to climb on top of her? <laughs> She'll never cooperate. We just fed her. We're buddies now. Kay, you're out of your mind. If I manage to get on top of her, you'll follow? And if you don't manage? I will rub your feet every day for a week. Two weeks. Ten days. Sold. Do your worst. <sighs> Ready to get on board? Do I have a choice? A bet is a bet. Ugh, I hate you, Kay. No, you're gonna love it. You'll see. Huh. Why isn't she moving? Maybe she's waiting for directions. Let me try. Go. <gasps> that worked. She understood. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> I'm afraid that's gonna be a bit tough for us to say. Burble? Can we call you Burble? All right. Burble it is. Hey, Burble. Are you sticking around? We might want to go back to where we came from. Cooking. So, are we going to talk about it, or...? About? You. Your metal. Source. What? I can't believe this isn't nagging at you. It's nagging at me. How come an item that evidently came from Source found its way around the neck of an apiary kid? <sighs> Don't you remember where you found it? No. And I already told you it was mine when I was a kid. I already had it when the home took me in. And before that? Before what? I don't remember, I was too young. All right, Kay, you might think I'm crazy, but have you considered the possibility that you... Might have been born on Source? Yeah. I've been mulling it over since we opened that door. It's a plausible hypothesis. My parents might have been part of the Source settlers, and I would have been evacuated, though they weren't. That would explain the home, 
this key around my neck. And? What do you think? I think it's a bit far-fetched. It could be that my medal is a generic key model that was made at the Apier at some point. And by chance, it was precisely the frequency of this one door. And it ended up around my neck because, I don't know, my parents were locksmiths who specialized in these weird keys. And they wanted to leave me with a keepsake before they abandoned me. Setting aside all this loot about irresponsible but sentimental locksmith parents, we're talking about the door to an experimental power plant that was so secret, almost no one in the apiary knows about it. Do you really believe that it would open just like that? By sheer luck? <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Well, we can always pretend, can't we? I've always dreamed of meeting a handsome stranger from another planet. Ugh, we still don't know what was in the last cocoon that fell out of the sky. This is bothering you, isn't it? Uh, yes. <sighs> if that doesn't get it. Ready to hear the very first Space Caress track. I have been waiting for this moment. Okay, so it's not really a track, mind you. Just a tune that I stumbled on. Chances are that I didn't stumble on anything. It could just be a tune that I heard once and I played without noticing. But, with any luck, I won't play it well and it won't even be the same. Still waiting. Okay, okay, sorry. So... That's it. That's all I got. It's awesome! For real? Really. Although... What am I supposed to do then? Uh, didn't you say something about a harmonica? That was a joke. I can't play the harmonica. Or any other instrument for that matter. Also, we don't have any other instruments. Hmm. You could always write the lyrics. Because humming is nice for a while, but it's not gonna hold up for a whole set. Lyrics about what? What do I know? Whatever you want. If I knew, I would have written them myself. Wait, wait, wait. You mean that I can make you sing anything at all? Uh, within reasonable terms. Stop right there. If I'm writing the lyrics, you have to respect my lyricism. Ooh, I feel the ideas welling up. Okay, I think I might have made a mistake. Ugh, we still don't know what was in the last cocoon that fell out of the sky. This is bothering you, isn't it? Uh, yes.
to make sure you are still there. a shortcut. This steel plate has a nice leading edge. I'm wondering, maybe if I rigged the wing root a bit, added a safety slat here, shaved down the trailing edge, yep, this should make a completely viable semi-airfoil. Awesome! Semi-airfoil are a kind of curtain, aren't they? <sighs> wings. They're wings. For flying. Ah. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Are we really gonna lug that around? It looks heavy. We could just take it straight to the nest. With the two of us, it should be okay. to hold it all together now. A job well done.
You okay? Laying back? As much as I can. I can see that. I was thinking. Any idea why I'm always in charge of hanging the laundry out to dry? Because I'm doing all the washing? Big deal. You just need to stick it in the machine. Where do you see a washing machine? Okay, good point. I'll finish hanging the laundry. So, is this rust, or is this not rust? Depends on how you define rust. A kind of ruddy substance that dissolves in flow? Then it's not rust. It has the same components, but no matter how much flow I throw at it, it won't budge. On the contrary, flow seems to evaporate when they come into contact. Evaporate? Yeah, I don't know if that's the right word. It's absorbed, consumed? I, I mean it disappears. Oh yeah, then it's like hyper-rust. If you will. So, to summarize, hyper-rust dissolves flow, which dissolves rust. Maybe rust dissolves hyper-rust. That would be like rock, paper, scissors. No, no, rust and hyper-rust, as you call it, have no effect upon one another. Too bad, I really like rock, paper, scissors. I win every time. <laughs> I know. And I still don't understand how you do it. It's statistically impossible. If you think rock, paper, scissors has to do with statistics, you have really missed the point of rock, paper, scissors. One day I will uncover this mystery. All in due time. First, hyper rust. Then rock, paper, scissors. I'm still thinking about the cocoon we saw coming down. And I don't think that it was a hornet. Hornets are never sent out on their own. They always come in threes, like the ones we saw earlier. Sometimes more. I don't like this at all. Maybe we should stay away. No, not knowing what's in that cocoon is gonna drive me crazy. We have to check it out. Plus, whatever is in there, I say we should find it before it finds us. What are you doing outside this late? A cutting of Catala Sparata. That way, we won't have to walk to reach remote islets. When did we ever walk to go somewhere? Manner of speaking. You can nitpick, or you can help me out. What do I need to do? Give it a little love. I call shower. I call second. <laughs> 